Hey everyone, welcome to another video on building message-driven systems. Again today we're looking at Azure Service Bus and we're going to look at how we can complete or abandon or dead letter our messages uh, purposefully. So I'm going to jump over to Visual Studio and we'll take a look at uh, some code. Okay, so now we're in Visual Studio. Uh, it's very similar to all of our code that we've seen before. We're starting our service, we've got our connection string, uh, our topic, our subscription name, same as before. I've added this little method in called clear subscription. I don't want you to worry too much about how that works right now, but I just want to make sure that every time we started the application, we had an empty subscription, no wait, no no messages waiting for us. Uh, and then we connect to the queue, uh, the topic, sorry, and we publish 10 messages, one to 10. Uh, we, log, we put that to the console that we sent those 10 messages, and then we open a subscription client. And so the first change that we've got really from the, from the code that we've sort of looked at before here is that we've got these message handler options that we're creating uh, in order that we can control how Service Bus handles our messages. And we're setting this new property on here called autocomplete. We're setting it to false. And what this basically means is we're asking Service Bus, hey, just because I finished running my message handler function without any exception, that doesn't mean uh, that you can delete the message for me. I, want, I only want you to do it when I explicitly tell you that I have successfully processed the message. And so I'm going to run this application right now. We're doing the same thing we did before. We're just logging our message out to the console. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. So we'll run this application. Here it goes. So our service bus demo, sent our 10 messages, and then we we'll receive them all. Perfect. And this time we're actually writing out the message ID as well, just so we can see those message. But hang on a minute, we've got some uh, some weird behavior here. We, we keep getting the more messages, but we only sent 10. Let's end the application there and try to figure out what's happened. So here we've got message one with its ID, two with its ID. Uh, what we're noticing, this ID, this is the unique ID that Service Bus assigns to the message that got sent. This is actually the same ID that's down here. And so what's actually happened is we have received the same message back again. So if we take a look at our message handler, uh, same as before, we're being passed the message by service bus. We're taking out the message, we're writing it to the console, and we're, we're not doing anything. And so what's happening, because we told service bus autocomplete to false, don't, don't autocomplete my messages, they aren't being completed. So we aren't actually releasing the lock on the message on purpose when we finish processing it. We have to do that explicitly now. If we don't, then our lock will expire and the message will be available for delivery again. And that's why we're getting those messages again. There's a little bit of a, of a pause here. We had a little bit of a pause after 10 before we got one again, because we have to wait for that lock to expire. We're literally just doing nothing with the lock, we're ignoring it. Um, and so the first thing I'm gonna show you here is, um, is that we wanna be able to, we're gonna, we're gonna abandon the message. We're gonna say, actually, I don't want, like I don't delete this message, I didn't process it successfully. And the thing we're gonna need to use to do that is our subscription client. And so you see that I put the subscription client rather than declaring it as a var here where we're using it, I actually declared it up as this uh, kind of class level uh, variable so I can use it in my message handler. So on subscription client, we have this abandon async method and that takes the lock token. So we can go to the message, system properties, lock token and pass that to service bus. And we need to make sure we await that method. And so now what's happening, once we get to the end of this method, we are immediately telling service bus, I do not want you to consider this message process, release my lock on it. And now let's see if we get any kind of different behavior. So before, as we saw, we got messages one through 10, one through 10, one through 10 uh, each time. So let's run it again and see what happens this time. So we're starting our service bus demo, sent our 10 messages. Now we're getting a slightly different behavior. We're actually getting the same message. We're getting message number one, 10 times, message number two, 10 times, message number three, 10 times, all the way through, right? So we actually got different behavior here. So the reason before that we were waiting uh, to see message one again, so we got one, two, three, four, five. The reason that was happening before in that order was because when we finished processing message one and went back to service bus said, I can take another message now, message one was still locked. So it gave us message two. Now, because we're abandoning the message explicitly, it is available immediately at the front of the queue. So when we finished processing message one and said to service bus, hey, give me another message. Message one is still at the front of the queue. And so we're actually getting message one lots and lots of times. This is super useful if we actually had a problem processing message number one, but we would immediately be able to reprocess it again. Or if, there, if, our, if our process had totally failed, uh, there would be another service that would, you know, and there's an, you know, someone else is connected to that same subscription. 
they would immediately be able to get that message and process it again, right, without delay. And so that can actually be kind of kind of useful. Uh, so the next thing I'll, I'll kind of show you uh, is how we can, like, what's the good case? What's the right thing to do? And so let's say that we've processed the message successfully. We've now got this, uh, this other method we can call called complete async. And that's acknowledging the message, saying I've processed this, you can remove this from the queue. And so now when we run it, what, what I'm hoping will happen is that we'll just see each message one time. And so we should just get starting our set error service bus demo, sent our 10 messages, and now we just process those messages one time and there is no more messages kind of coming through. We've acknowledged them all and they're no longer sitting on the, on the uh, subscription for us. Now, the one thing I will uh, also show is there is a third option for what you can do here. Um, and that is dead letter. And so this is a kind of different kind of concept. So complete says, I've finished processing the message. You can delete it you, and obviously release my lock. Uh, Abandon says, I cannot process this message. Just release my lock. For whatever reason, I can't do it. Release the lock, make the message available at the front of the queue again. The purpose of dead letter is to say, hey, this message is unprocessable. There's no point giving it to me again. I won't be able to process it. So what I need you to do is move it out of the front of the queue and put it somewhere else. And that, that somewhere else is called the dead letter queue. And so this is, an, this is a method for explicitly putting messages onto the dead letter queue. We have actually seen the effect of the dead letter queue uh, already. Remember, if I take this, uh, if I turn this back to abandon, I'm gonna quickly just show this demo again with the abandon. What we see is that we got each of the messages 10 times and then we stop getting them, right? So one 10 times, two 10 times, three 10 times, we don't get them after that. And so the reason that's happening, I'm gonna pull up our uh, topic. And our subscription. So this is our subscription on the service bus. Um, what we will see now on, let me uh, maximize this. So this is our topic, sorry, on our subscription, demo subscription one. Before we didn't hear the message lock duration, that's the five seconds. That's the five second delay when we weren't doing anything. It was five seconds till we got that message back again. Here we see this maximum delivery count. So this is saying the, num the maximum number of times I want you to, uh, to give me a message that I failed to process. Um, and so that's set to 10, that's the default number that it's set to. You can raise that number up. Um, you just hit change on here and you can set it up to 2000, give it 2000 attempts to try and process a message, um, which is a pretty high number. You know, it's probably, probably likely to keep failing if you're gonna fail 2000 times. Um, if, you, if something happens more than 10 times, uh, then it's gonna end up on the dead letter queue. And so we can see here actually, there are 10 messages that are on the dead letter queue right now. That are these 10 messages that we just sent in this demo. They're now sitting here on this dead letter queue. So if they were waiting on the subscription, it would say they'd be in the active messages count. Um, this one right here, this active message count, but they haven't, we've tried to deliver them 10 times, they failed every time, so we moved them to the dead letter queue. And so what you're actually able to do uh, in .NET is you're able to do that on purpose with service bus, and that's what that dead letter queue is. So now what we'll see is that we don't actually pro successfully process those messages, but we don't get them coming back 10 times. And again, this is for when you know that the message is unprocessable for some reason, and you don't want to handle it. So here we only get each message one time, but if we go back to, I remember I cleared the queue out, so now we're going to see that those messages are back onto the dead letter queue. Uh, it might be easier if I, if you run that again one more time. And I'm going to pull this up to show you that there's no message in the dead letter queue. We've got three active messages, 10 active messages. We start receiving them and then we push them all into the dead letter queue. And so these are the things you can do with messages when you receive them. You either process them successfully and you complete them. You say, I can't process them, but I want to try again. So you can abandon them. Or you say, I can definitely never process this, uh, process this message again. Uh, and I need to push that to the dead letter queue. And then in a future video, we're going to talk about the dead letter queue and how do we actually handle those messages? How do we get hold of those? Um, that'll be in, in, uh, in one of my upcoming videos. So hopefully you found this kind of useful. Uh, if you did, Please like the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. I'm gonna keep posting more information about Azure Service Bus. Uh, if you've got any other kind of questions or concerns or comments or anything like that, you can hit me up on social media or, or drop a comment on 
on uh, one of the videos um, and, and you know, request any kind of content or, or, or answers or anything like that. Hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, tune in again next time. I'll see you then. Thank you.